Okay, I believe we're live. Hello, everybody. Welcome to a bit of a last minute live stream. Uh, I'm actually going to a formal uh, dinner with uh, some media friends. Uh, but uh, we, um, we had a bit of a, uh, I was going to say the S word, but we, we got, we're not going to say it's a family show. Bit of a chaotic day inside the House of Commons chamber. I'm going to wait for more people to join in as well. But uh, the latest update we now have, some of you might have seen it already on uh, TV. Uh, the House of Commons was absolutely chaotic because um, last night we had, uh, of course, the, the announcement that Jeremy Hunt is going to be uh, <laughs> taking over as uh, the, well, the government agenda. What we've actually seen was that first he went on TV, Jeremy Hunt, as the new chancellor, and mentioned that the whole of the budget is gone, uh, the whole of the government agenda is gone, let's trust everything you had about it, it's, it's all gone, everything's going to change. So it is a very, very British coup, as we already mentioned on the channel. Then we had, um, around 3 o'clock, 3.30, um, it's Keir Starmer saying that he wants to do a, um, an urgent question in Parliament. Usually, if Keir Starmer, as leader of opposition, is doing it, you're going to have to have the Prime Minister responding. In reality, actually, what we had was the Prime Minister didn't turn up. The Prime Minister was missing. She was in hiding. I don't know where she was for a while. And so we have Penny Morden taking over as Prime Minister. <laughs> And uh, so she put the hat of the PM, metaphorically, went to the House of Commons and uh, dealt with Keir Starmer. It got weirder because um, after about an hour, you eventually, after all the attacks on the, uh, Liz Truss as Prime Minister, you had the, the PM randomly turning up to the chamber while Penny Morden was talking. She sat next to her for about 20 minutes, 29 minutes, and then she just left randomly. She didn't contribute to the debate. She didn't answer any questions. Um, and then what, as uh, Liz Truss was leaving, uh, we had uh, Jeremy Hunt standing up as the new chancellor. And he made things even worse than it is. Um, so we already had the announcement on TV that he said, yeah, well, we're not going to do tax cuts, not even for the, the low income or middle income people, no tax cuts for anybody. And we're going to basically do some more uh, big government globalist stuff. And then he stood up in parliament earlier and he said, Okay, so we're also going to be considering um, all the ideas from the Labour Party, from the globalist Labour taxes, including, um, so you've got the windfall tax, uh, they're probably, these idiots are the ones who've been coming up with the, the universal basic income, the wealth tax, and by the way, wealth tax is not really for the wealthy, the way they talk about the wealth tax is asset tax. So you're going to have uh, someone who's 75 years old, 80 years old, uh, up in north of England, uh, without any proper income or pension, like low pension, uh, but just because they, they, they own the house that they have, then they're going to be in trouble as well. Inheritance tax on top of it. Uh, so we're going to have the windfall tax. That's what Keir Starmer wanted. And we're going to have... Uh, these people are the same people, by the way, uh, Jeremy Hunt, uh, who are uh, in favour of Joe Biden's and the, the World Economic Forum's uh, fixed rate of uh, business tax, corporation tax, internationally. They want to centralise everything, including taxation. So we're going to have whatever the percentage they propose, I believe it was, I don't know, something like 14%, 18%, a minimum corporation tax for all countries, regardless of your sovereignty, regardless of your democracy, regardless of your own parliament, doesn't matter. If Joe Biden and the World Economic Forum came up with an idea, you're going to have to say yes. So people like Jeremy Hunt, people like Rishi Sunak, these guys, and Keir Starmer, they've all been in favour of the windfall tax stuff, of the wealth tax stuff. Some of them are in favour of universal basic income, which is going to make everybody lazy. And this experiment, anywhere in the world that's been tried in the past, never worked. And uh, now we're going to have this situation where these idiots are going to be pushing for international corporation tax, minimum corporation tax rates. Um, so not only we can't really tax a cut business rate, a business tax for small businesses and local businesses. We're going to have to also deal with these idiots. We're going to go listen to Joe Biden and everybody else. Uh, we actually have uh, Andre Walker of uh, Talk TV with us. Uh, uh, Andre, welcome. Oh, look, there's a beautiful <laughs> Iranian. How are you, mate? Uh, good, good. Well, we're just doing a quick live stream about uh, Jeremy Hunt's announcement that he's basically not going to ta cut taxes. Not only that. Jeremy Hunt is a <laughs> pro-European leftist and he is destroying this country. You know the problem with that's going on at the moment, Maya? The problem that's going on is these Brexit, the, the Brexiteers have been done over. We need to support genuine conservatism. They want Keir Starmer in. That's they the plan. Exactly, that's the plan. So I'm going to leave you guys there. That was a contribution from uh, Talk TV's Andrew Walker. I'm going to uh, let you guys go. We're going to come back with more live streams.
throughout the evening, hopefully. Subscribe to the channel. I'm Mario DC and we are the media.